At five, the Israel-Hamas war faces growing pressure to pause for humanitarian reasons. Thousands of people in Gaza fled for their lives today amid near constant airstrikes and no water. Doctors say they are running out of medical supplies to help patients and their staff is at a breaking point. Well, now all of that is hitting home. Tense moments as Jewish Atlantans rallied for a ceasefire outside of Senator John Ossoff's local office. The relatively large Jewish community in Atlanta remains divided, some calling for a ceasefire, others standing behind Israel's military response to the October 7th attack. As Atlanta News First Abby Kosoros explains, the Jewish community in Georgia is split. Today, Jewish Georgians asking Senator John Ossoff to hear their concerns. Ossoff is the first Jewish senator elected from Georgia. Cease fire now! They were not welcome inside his office. Police and property managers moved them out. Shame on you! Clara Green with Jewish Voice for Peace wearing one of these shirts. Carrying out a genocide in the Jewish name and the Jewish faith it does not make Jews any safer. But just last week, a rally in Atlanta's Woodruff Park, the opposite sentiment pulsing through the crowd. Jewish Georgians calling for Americans to back Israel after hundreds of Israelis were taken hostage no by Hamas. Here. We don't want to see innocent people on either side murdered. But unfortunately, you know, tragically, after what Hamas just did, what is the appropriate response? Support, support for that idea Israel. put into action by some state politicians. Georgia Governor Brian Kemp, state senators and representatives showing Israel support by holding press conferences and buying Israeli bonds. Senator Ossoff's office sent us this statement saying that the senator welcomes constituents to engage with our office. Our team is standing by to assist constituents with any need and ensure their voices are heard. The senator is pushing for more money to be given for humanitarian aid. The protesters we spoke to today say no money should be given unless there is a ceasefire. In Atlanta, I'm Abby Casores.